okay in this lesson we are going to complete this table and again these are very basic things just you can take a cube and we can just modify the inputs a little bit and you'll get these things and we can duplicate them once we do one side we can duplicate to the other then this side duplicate to the other uh, but here I'm going to show you some different ways to create this queue again you can click here and it will appear here you can adjust it move it here you can do that you know that uh, so let me show you some different ways to create your cube on this surface okay so I don't have to move one positioning here I can directly create a cube new cube on this object so for that I need to make it as a live object first so let's select it and click on this icon here or you can go to modify and make live here uh, here you can do this from here so one when you make live an object you cannot select it anymore and you can see it's turned blue and you can see the object name here here so now this pq is a live object and you cannot select a live object or you cannot move a live object you cannot do anything like uh, selecting and moving or scaling or rotating a live object but you can create new object on top of a live object live object sorry so but say let's say now i click here but still i'm getting the cube here in the origin i don't want this so delete it so in order to create your cube on this object you need to turn on this option go to create polygon primitives the home of all the polygon primitives here you need to turn on this option interactive creation once it turned on you can check now it's turned on now once it turned on and this option uh, this object is live you can create on top of this now when i click here it's it's showing you can drag and create your object so now i'm going to drag here you can drag anywhere on the object cube you can see the first drag is the base of the cube and the second drag is the height you can see so delete it so i'm going to you know drag here so let's again click here and now i'm going to click like this or let go the first drag is your base of the cube and then the second drag is the height okay like this so you can do this as well so now I have my cube now if you check the polygon inputs uh, the polygon channel box option here the translate XYZ so then let's turn off this make live option here you can do this from here as well now this object is a normal object so this object is not connected with that one okay not it's just created on top of that now it's uh, if you check this x-axis it should be zero now I have some value here that means this object is not 100% uh, centered according to the x-axis so let's put zero here again it this is not uh, compulsory or this is not a very necessary thing to do you can like keep off track but I like to keep things a little organized so then just scale in in a particular single axis to fill because if you see I had some gap here so let's scale it and let this area intersect with this body so let's scale from a from a single axis here last time we scale from the center here but this time I just want to scale this axis to stress the object on, in this direction now I have, I have this cube then let's uh, let's select these two edges just these two edges and bevel them so let let's add some divisions here in the segment area okay let's see and then let's I think this is too much let me adjust the fraction a little bit and let's adjust the segment or some more segment okay nice now I have one then I can just duplicate to that side by just 
moving the pivot to the origin here so let's press d and again turn on the snap to grid option here and then drag from this from this yellow or circular shape here to the origin okay then press d again to get out of the pivot mode now it's showing this circle because of this option on the so turn off okay so now the pivot is there now i just need to duplicate it and now i need to duplicate it in z axis so i'm going to put some minus value here we need to see if it's one just put minus value here whatever the number is there just put minus to the left okay so it flipped then i need this this side so i can just duplicate it and use this so let's duplicate normal duplicate this time i want to rotate it right i want to rotate it 90 degree so let's go to the rotate tool here the shortcut is e and now i want to rotate from these circles this is the axis y axis now you can see here i have some value 52 let's make it 90 100 percent 90 degree okay if you are confused in this perspective view you can always check from the top let press 4 to see whether your object is aligned properly you can see from the top i am looking at my table and easily i can say it's not at the right position here it's need to be okay and let's say now i need to scale it like this okay then again the pivot is off so let's press t do the same thing press d again and turn off this snap to grid then control d to duplicate and put some minus value here so i need to put okay when i go to scale mode you can see my object axis is off the y is going there and z is here so this is off so let's go and go to modify and freeze it when you freeze it you will see everything is again clear and set to one the scale is set to one and this axis orientation is correct right now sometimes you can see those things like when you rotate or uh, rotate things so you might need to freeze it then now let's go and put minus value minus one okay okay the table is done here so in the next lesson we are going to do the chair